and it is Walsh and Mullins. It's Hurricane Flight's second champion. It's Owen in front from now Celestial Halo who tries to fight back, but this is going to be one for Charles Burns for the people of Limerick. Solwyn, a big outsider, lands it. Well, nothing could top Sprinter Sacra in the champion chase, but Simon Sig, his stablemate in the Racing Post Arkle Trophy, wasn't bad either. In truth, there was too much fizz early on and not enough fireworks at the end, but he was very impressive, really, given how hard he pulled to be able to win in the manner that he did, says how good a horse he is. The clash between Sprinter Sacra and Simon Sig next season will be the most eagerly anticipated meeting of the whole campaign. The present is Sprinter Sacra, the future is Simon Sig, and when present and future meet, we'll all be watching. Been coming here for many, many years, and I've seldom seen anything like Sprinter Sacker in the Queen Mother. From the moment he walked into the parade ring to the moment he left the, the winner's enclosure, the whole scene was just awesome. Strictly from a, a form point of view, it was just magnificent. We know how good sprinting, uh, how good sizing Europe is. He's a hell of a horse, and he's been coming here year in, year out, putting up magnificent performance after, after magnificent performance himself. And for Sprinter Sacra to beat him 19 lengths on the bridle. I mean, who knows how far it could have been. Could it, he could have been in maybe 30, even 40 lengths. It was extraordinary. Uh, for me, the highlight of the entire festival was Hurricane Fly winning the champion hurdle. Everybody doubted him going into the race, and I think halfway through the race, I think people were still doubting him, and the doubters were thinking that they were going to be singing, but he really came back on the bridle, and I think turning for home to see Ruby travelling so well, and proving that he is the superstar hurdler he was was something really special. You know, he beat some really good horses last year's winner, Rock on Ruby, Zarkander was there, Countrywide Flame, and he really beat them very, very easily, and it showed what a champion he is, and for me, that was the highlight of the entire festival. The worst result of the week was definitely Hurricane Fly on the first day. That was an absolute monster, diabolical result for us. Um, we took him on, we went money back all losers at Paddy Power, we lost. Uh, we paid out 4.3 million euros, including almost two and a half million euros in refunds, um, and we we left we left the course on the first day, very shaken up, um, thinking we might have to walk home to Dublin. My highlight of the week has been watching Ruby Walsh ride around Cheltenham. He's simply fantastic rounds here. He started off with Champagne Fever. It was a brilliant ride from the front. Then Hurricane Fly, the way he teased him into the race, I'm not sure too many jockeys would have won on him from the position he was in at the top of the hill. And then he finished day one with a win on Quivega from another unlikely position. In the bumper, Briar Hill, another fantastic ride. Ruby Walsh round here is a joy to watch and he's been my highlight of the week.
Well, the undoubted low light for me was Hurricane Fly winning the champion hurdle on Tuesday, which means I've got to lose my sideburns. I think they're going to get shaved off on RPTV sometime soon. So that wasn't too good. But on the Wednesday, bounce back, the new one, fantastic result. Was lucky enough to have a drink with the owners before the race. They're lovely, lovely people. Wished with the new one well. And then he went and won the race and won it really, really well. I think he's a champion hurdle horse for next year. He showed such pace to get up the hill with Sam Twist and Davies. A fantastic result. Went down to the hollow bottom after racing for a few drinks with the owners. It was absolutely fantastic. They were loving it. Even a sprained ankle from the lady who owns it. Running up the chute to get a horse. She fell over, sprained her ankle. Was in a cast by the time she got to the hollow bottom. But she didn't care. She was high on the win. She loved it. The new one. Highlight with the festival. The best result this week was Dines getting beaten by Beneficent. Um, punters really steamed into Dines when, when the Pipes made the decision to run him in that race. Um, he, w he, he would have been a significant loser and it was an absolute monster Beneficent winning. It's the second time he's helped us out. Um, I remember being at Leperstown once when he won at 50 to 1. So Tony Martin should be getting something from the bookies in the post. Highlight for me was um, the Kildare based trainer Peter Mayer having uh, the winner of the cross country in uh, Big Shoe, uh, Barry Cash, wasting away to get down to 10 stone 4 for the ride. Uh, my highlight of the week was Cue Card's victory in the Ryanair chase. Uh, that Ryanair chase has been a nightmare for me in the past. I've suffered really heartbreaking defeats with Voi Poru Steadies and also Medamit as well. Um, so it's good to finally back the winner and an impressive winner and a horse that I followed throughout his career right back to his debut at Fontwell in a bumper many, many years ago. Uh, Cucard is a horse that's always had a big reputation. It's good to see that he's finally come good this season. Hopefully there's plenty more success in his future.